318 Louisiana Arts So, what's your name? My name is Cassie McDaniel, and I resonate with Cassie. All right, what do you do? What do I do? I do lots of things, but mainly with my art, it's all about taking the things that other people have discarded and decided have, that it has no value, and bringing the value back out in it, remaking it into something that people can admire and enjoy and wear and, and have fun with. Hmm. So you just um. So you do jewelry. What inspired you to do jewelry? Obviously, I love jewelry. Uh, yeah. I feel like when women wear jewelry, they're they're it's a, it's a form of self expression. And so I've always been the type of person that when I adorn myself, I'm seeking to show who I am as an individual. And so it just kind of led me into making making jewelry and allowing other people to represent their true selves through my pieces. All right, um, are you a, um, have you been born in Louisiana or where no, are you from? No, actually, I moved down here from the Midwest when I was 13 and I don't particularly care for snow, so I never left. <laughs> All right. Um, what inspired you to um, host your art at Art Bazaar in the Bozier Arts Council? Well, number one, I, I, I think that they're doing great work. I develop personal relationships with the lab rats and the artists here, and I think that they do a wonderful thing, you know, and to give a venue for, for new artists and struggling artists where they can show their work and uh, be welcomed is, is a really special thing. Yeah. Right. Um, what inspired you to um, do the, um, the uh, clothing? Well, I, I am an inveterate collector of things. And so I have all these scarves and different things that I pick up. And I just like, what can I do with this? What's a new way to present this where people can wear it and enjoy it? That's kind of what inspired me. I just, I'm surrounded by piles of things, and then they say, I want to be this. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's why I plan on getting the. That's really cool. All right, I heard that you're going to have a store soon. Well, it's in the works. We're, uh, I'm involved with uh, Sleepy Hollow Gets and Books. Kate has gotten the lease on the spot next door to her place, Sleepy Hollow, and we're working on many storefronts for artists to be able to display their wares. So we're in the beginning process of getting that going. Mm. What is your advice on the um, local art scenes and, and, um, and the artists that want to make it in the local art scene in Louisiana? to just keep working keep making, keep talking to people. If you have an opportunity to show your work, get it out there. It's really, it's really all about people and, and just forming connections. So. All right. And just keep trying. <laughs> all right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Oh, one of my sons just phoned and told me to grow his like. Then please subscribe if you want to know what Art Bazaar is about and if you want to see the other interviews then click the links in the description box below. 318 Louisiana Arts Signing out.